So facial paralysis is a condition where one side of your face does not move or does not move as well as the other side of your face. And all of the muscles that are responsible for making emotions like smiling, raising your eyebrows, that's all controlled by one nerve and that's the facial nerve. And this nerve can be injured with certain medical conditions such as a cancer that require the nerve to be resected or it can be something unpredictable like Bell's palsy, which commonly causes facial nerve paralysis. And a lot of people recover from Bell's palsy, they get their facial function back, and they're back to baseline. But also, many patients don't regain full function after Bell's palsy, so they still have some residual facial paralysis. And some patients may notice this as, well, the smile that I have on the side where my face is paralyzed just doesn't look quite the same as my good side. Whether it be it's not as wide or your lips don't have the same conformation and whatever the reason it may be, that means that the smile is not you. And that means you don't feel like you are you. A lot of patients who have this condition, we find that they're turning to their good side when they're taking pictures, or they're avoiding certain emotions because they know those emotions make their face look asymmetrical. And this can be very stressful for patients. We are here to treat all causes of facial paralysis, whether it be Bell's palsy or something else. And the treatment plan for facial paralysis can be very nuanced. It's very individualized. So a big part of treating facial paralysis is creating symmetry. We want the affected side of the face to look close to the normal side of the face as possible. And when we can accomplish this, we give the patient more natural facial expressions, smiling and all kinds of other emotions. And one way we can do this is through Botox injections. We can use Botox, which is an injectable medication to reduce wrinkles usually, but we can use it in targeted muscles of your face so that we can get a more symmetrical appearance from one side to the other. There are also surgical options to treat the paralyzed face. And these surgeries involve using existing nerves or the good facial nerve that you have or other muscles that may be working and using them in a way that benefits you, whether it be using them to give you a more symmetrical smile or give you tone in the side of the face that's paralyzed or droopy to give you a more natural look. Patients' recovery from facial paralysis is personalized. The face is always different. So one person's recovery is different than another. And one person's issues with how their face looks is different than another patient. So whether it be how your eye looks, how your eyebrow looks, the width of your smile, we treat all of those issues. And we can talk to you in detail about the plans, the treatment plans that we can enact to make your smile bigger, to make your face look more symmetrical, to have your eye open more when you're smiling, and other smaller, more nuanced movements of your face that you may not realize that contributes to the look of facial paralysis, we bring that up to you. We explain why that's happening to you, and we tell you what we can do to treat it.